Hello everybody, this is Arkansas State media student Carson Harris here, and today I'm going to review a product that I use a lot for my school projects and personal projects at home. Now, I use a Rode Pod mic for my audio projects, both here and home, but this is an XLR mic, if you couldn't tell, so you got to have an interface to go along with it, or a mixer. That's what this is about. I'm going to review the Audient ID4. Coming in at about $199 on Amazon and Sweetwater. This is a really good, well-built interface that will last you a long time and can help you get off the ground if you're starting out or even if you're experienced. They can assist, even if you're still starting out, this can help you a lot. The ID4 has two gain knobs. This one's for microphone and this one's for guitar. This is your monitor mix. This Have it here if you are going to record so you can hear yourself while you're recording and have it over here on DAW when you are going to listen to it on, re on rewatch. This is your audio, your volume button. Now a cool thing about this button is is if you have it too loud you could just press it down and it'll knock it down by about 10 decibels which is pretty cool. This button mutes your speakers and this is your ID button which gives you access to muting that as I was saying earlier. Here are some inputs. This is where you put your guitar, and these are your headphone jacks. This is one. This one is if you have like a studio-like one or a bigger one, and this one is if you don't have one of those, which is a big plus compared to something like one of the Focusrites. And on the back, you've got your microphone input, your Phantom Power or 48 volts of Phantom Power button, your speaker input and outputs, and your USB input. You need this type of USB to go in here. The first thing I like about the ID4 is it's just really well built. This is metal with aluminum buttons. A metal build overall and aluminum buttons. So very easy, very good, very good feel to play with. The second thing I like about it is move it down here and move the camera down here. It sits on your desk really good. So when you're doing something like sitting here mixing and like that, let's say you're over here and doing your podcast or whatever and you can just mix it here some interfaces have it like this where it's a bit more of a pain in the butt to do but having it right here on the desk it's just so much easier and the third thing I like to say about it is it just has great sound quality for the price range it's fantastic it's just hard to beat although it is a great interface it's not flawless of course one flaw I'd have to give it is I know this is just a beginner one but this only has one mic input so I guess if you're just doing a single stream or podcast or radio show, yeah, I get that. Or like with pod mic, then this is fine. But if you're doing a multi mic podcast, you're gonna have to look for something else, like a Focusrite or the ID14, which has two plugins. Another problem is is when you unplug it or turn it off, and then you replug it back in, it resets down to zero, and it's a pain in the butt sometimes to dial it in back. And the last thing is the price too. One and nine is pretty good for this one, but like I said, the Focusrite 2i2, which has two inputs, is like 150, 160. The PreSonus AudioBox Go, which is for streaming, and is less than 100 bucks, and the Behringer UMC202 is less than 100 dollars, and it's great as well. Although that being said, this is still probably the best out of all of them, the best quality, the best built, and one of the easiest ones to use. So I recommend you get the Audient ID4. This will deliver the goods. This is Carson Harris Reviews, signing out.